I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscribers for watching my videos and giving brilliant ideas. Now this is for my subscriber who wants to understand how to create a nonlinear pattern and write its rule. So let me begin by saying that we'll talk about both linear and nonlinear. Then I hope it will make more sense, right? So we'll first talk about linear patterns, right? And then we'll talk about nonlinear patterns. Okay, so nonlinear patterns. So can you tell me what is a linear pattern? Linear pattern is one in which numbers increase by same amount. Numbers increase, you can say increase or decrease, it could be either, or decrease by same amount. We'll take up examples also to elaborate, right? And nonlinear means numbers do not so that is important do not increase or decrease by same amount so that is major difference right so that makes huge difference so let's create uh, now a pattern right so we'll create a pattern and uh, try to understand what does it mean okay so let me write down uh, the numbers which are normally taken starting with one right so one two three four five okay let's call this is our input right we'll say this is input and that is output okay so let us say that the input is one and the output for us is two right and we will increase this number by uh, let me increase by three so we'll do increase by three each time to create a linear pattern so 2 plus 3 is 5 what is uh, 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 3 is uh, 14 right so let me check so 5 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 3 is 11 11 plus 3 is 14 correct so we added 3 each time so we are saying this is linear right now the second question is how to write down its rule. So let's write down its rule also. So here we'll write the rule for this pattern. Since it is increasing by three, this number three is important for us. You have to start with three. Three times you get multiplied. So three times, it is three times the input. Always we write in terms of input. Let me write three times the input, right? Let me put it in brackets. Now, if I do 3 times 1, what do I get? I get 3. I do not get 2. Oh, so it doesn't work, you mean. If I do 3 times 2, you get 6, not 5. Oh, you get 1 more than 5. 3 times 3 is 9, not 8. 1 more than 8. So how do I get these numbers? Well, I should take away something from it. And that something is indeed, indeed 1, right? So... So we'll do 3 times the input, take away 1 and try it out. 3 times 4 is 12, 12 take away 1 is 11, 3 times 5 is 15, take away 1 is 14. It works, right? So you can extend this and just to check, once you extend, extend it up to 10 and then check. For 10, what should you get? 3 times 10 is 30, take away 1 should be 29, right? So it should be 29. How did we get it? We multiplied uh, 3 by 10 and then we took away 1, right? That gives us the number 29. Is it okay? So that is how we got it. But anyway, you understand what linear patterns are and that is how we generate linear patterns and also write their rule. Simple, correct? Now let's get into non-linear patterns. They are as simple as this. Believe me, okay? Let me show you this. So again, I'll make a same pattern. I should say similar. In this case, let me write in and out as X and Y. Okay, X and Y. X is the input, Y is the output. Let's keep input same. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. And let's again start with two. Not a bad idea, right? So let's start with two. And okay, let me increase by three also. So first two steps are same for us. So two plus three is five good now what should I do 
Since I want a non-linear pattern and I say numbers do not increase or decrease by same amount, so now I will add a different amount. Let me add 5 plus 5 and get the next number. 5 plus 5 is 10 and now different amount, right? So, so what I do is uh, I will add 7 plus 7, okay? 10 plus 7 is 17. And likewise, we can add uh, this time 9, right? We'll do 9. And then write down this number. Okay. I'll also write down this number with the rule. So I'm just stopping here. But clearly, this is non-linear. Why? Because we are increasing by different amount, correct? Not 3 each time. So we know this pattern is indeed non-linear, right? So I can write non-linear here? Yes, I can. So I'll say non linear pattern is it okay because we are not increasing by the same amount so we got one part now the second part is how to write its rule so let's learn how to write the rule for such a case so to write rule i'll go one more step here so now if i see by what numbers i am increasing 5 minus 3 is 2 7 minus 5 is 2 so it is 2 each time Second time it is constant. So if it is second time constant, that means we are working with square of a number, not times the same number, right? Not times the input, but square of this number. That means the rule involves square of a number. So it involves something like x square. That it involves. Why? Because second time it is constant. You see, first time the rule involved just the number x not the power power is one you see this is power is one here the power is two that is the difference okay but uh, what is one square one square is one not two how do you get two well to get two i should add one to it right so let me let me add one to it so the rule becomes x square plus one will it work what is two square two square is four four plus one is five it works 3 square is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, so 5 square is 25. And if I add 1, it becomes 26. Well, let us check. 17 plus 9 is 26. It works, correct? So if I do 6 here, then I should have the number here should be what? So let me do 6 square plus 1, which is? 37 right this is 36 plus 1 so I should get 37 this is one way of getting this number the other way is I should add how much now 3 5 7 9 11 so if I add 11 to 26 I get 37 do you see that so the rule works so the rule works so it is square of a number plus 1 do you see that so we have created a non-linear pattern since it is not increasing by same amount and we have also given a rule for it, right? So that's how you do it. Let me take up another example, very interesting. Again, we'll take x and y as our numbers and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. That's easy numbers to work with and we'll again start with 2, right? Not a bad idea. This time what I'll do is I'll kind of double these numbers, okay? So I'll say 2, 4, 8. I'm not adding the same number. I'm kind of doubling them, right? So and so on. So what I did here is I doubled the number. So I multiplied by 2 each time. So it is when I do here, how do I go from here to here? I'm not adding this time. I'm multiplying by a number. Do you see that? I'm multiplying by 2, doubling them, right? So so we say double each time. So in this case, rule is uh, double each time. So it really means multiplying by 2. So, so now I think you get an idea of how to write down the rule. So let me write down the rule this time here. So what should be the rule? We are doubling each time. So it has to do with something double, right? So, so here we'll see it works with the square, right? So it has to work with square of a number, okay? How do you get uh, 16 from 4? Four? 4 square, okay? That works, but how about uh, 1 and 2? Well, so it's not exactly square. So it is multiplied by 2 each time. So you can say this number is 
having one two this is getting two twos right so let me go one more step okay so this number has one two and then what do we have at this stage two times two do you see that eight is actually two times two times two and 16 is two times two times two times two do you see the number of twos increasing does that give you an idea oh yes it does it is 2 to the power of this number, right? 3, 3 2s, 4, 4 2s getting multiplied. Now you get it. So it is, and these numbers are x. So we could write rule as 2 to the power of x. Do you see that? Yes, it is. 2 to the power of x. So here it should be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 5 2s, right? So, so it should be 32, right? Or... It could be written as, let me write down here in a different thing, 2 to the power of 5, right? So you get 32. Do you see that? So it becomes rule is 2 to the power of x, where 5 is the x value, okay? Now such numbers or patterns are called exponential patterns, right? They increase very fast, right? So they increase very fast. If you plot these on a coordinate, then you're going to get for a line, a straight line. So this, this will normally give you kind of a straight line, okay? And such graphs, which are like x squared, if you coordinate them, they will have a graph like this. And these kind of graphs will kind of increase like this very fast. So that is the kind of difference. These are linear, those ones are quadratic non-linear of course this is also non-linear but another name is exponential but i hope with this you have a very clear idea of how to create non-linear patterns and also how to write down their rules i'm anil kumar i welcome you to post more questions so that we can come out with some brilliant useful videos for you thank you and all the best don't forget to subscribe and share my videos thank you again